The New Jersey-New York expansion project is underway, expanding the interstate natural gas pipeline system, which has been serving the region for over 60 years to meet immediate and future demands for new clean-burning natural gas supplies. The scope of the project includes replacing five miles of existing pipe with a new state-of-the-art 42-inch pipeline and installing 15 miles of new 30-inch pipe that has a higher strength and wall thickness than is required by federal regulations. This expansion to the system will be one of the safest and most reliable natural gas pipelines in the United States. Along the pipeline route, trench boxes or shoring are temporarily installed for personnel safety and sandbags are placed to cushion the pipe. In Linden, we removed existing 12-inch and 20-inch pipe and replaced it with a new 42-inch pipeline in a process called take up and relay. The 12 inch and 20 inch existing pipelines were raised, cut into sections, and placed on trucks for proper disposal. The new 42 inch pipeline sections were welded, x-ray verified, and lowered into place. Final steps will include environmental surface restoration to pre-construction conditions. To prevent corrosion of the pipeline, we use a technique called cathodic protection on every section of pipe. This process provides additional safeguards against corrosion. For more information on this process, please watch Pipeline Corrosion Protection in the multimedia section of YesGasPipeline.org. In Bayonne, sections of the new 30-inch diameter pipeline were staged beside the trench, welded together, and inspected for integrity. As an enhanced safety feature on this project, we use X-ray technology on every weld, ensuring the integrity of the pipeline. Then, multiple side boom cranes lowered the more than 700 feet of new pipeline into the trench. Also in Bayonne, one of our horizontal directional drills, or HDD, began at First Street. This efficient, non-intrusive subsurface method of installation adds an additional layer of safety due to the depth of the pipeline, typically between 40 and 140 feet. For more information on this process, please watch the three stages of horizontal directional drilling in the multimedia section of YesGasPipeline.org. In Jersey City, we began mobilizing marine support equipment on the Hudson River to prepare for the setup of the HDD support platform. The three sections of the fixed structure were brought down the river on barges. Additional marine support equipment is also being utilized for safety, security, and coordination of daily operations. Upon completion, this project will support state efforts in both New Jersey and New York to achieve a number of key clean air, energy, sustainability, and affordability goals. The project will improve air quality in the region by eliminating carbon dioxide emissions to the equivalent of taking one million cars off of the road and will provide enough safe, reliable energy to heat more than an additional two million homes per day. These additional new supplies of natural gas will increase energy options, provide greater competition, and reduce seasonal price volatility, all of which will result in lower energy costs and substantial savings, estimated at a combined $700 million for New Jersey and New York. The New Jersey New York Expansion Project. Reliable energy for today, tomorrow, and the future.